Never Stop Learning Week 305. We're going to take a quick look at how to create a bitmap halftone screen in Adobe Photoshop CC 2017. All right, so I'm going to use this image for my halftone. And I'm going to create this halftone by converting this to a bitmap instead of using one of the Photoshop filters. All right, so along the way, I need to convert this to a grayscale image. So before I do that, I might as well just jump into the adjustments and get the exact look I'm going for. So over here on the right, I'm going to choose the black and white adjustment and I'm going to back off on the red channel. All right, so that's going to lighten up the skin tone, which is going to help get me some really good contrast. All right, because I want some more contrast, I'll go into the levels. Now I want to grab this black point, bring it in towards the middle. And that's going to darken up my shadows. All right, that looks good. I'll grab this white point, click and drag towards the left, and that's going to blow out my highlights. But again, I just want some really high contrast so I could get a really good halftone. All right, this looks great. So over here at the top for image, find mode, and notice we do not have access to bitmap. And that's because we have an RGB color document. All right, so I'm gonna switch over to grayscale. And when I switch over to grayscale, I'm gonna get a couple warnings here. So this one's telling me that it's gonna change modes and get rid of my adjustment layers. So I actually wanna flatten this. I'll click on flatten. Then it's telling me uh, that I'm gonna discard my color information, and that's fine. Let's go ahead and discard that. All right, over here on the right, I have my background layer. And now we have a document that no longer has color. This is a grayscale image. All right, over here at the top, in the image menu, mode. Now we have access to bitmap. All right, so when I click on that, it's gonna bring up the bitmap window. Starting at the top, we have resolution. The input value is 72 pixels per inch. So that means that this image, the one we're playing with down here, is 72 pixels per inch. But the output, I have it set to 300 pixels per inch. So you could actually increase the resolution for your halftone. And that's really cool. I've never seen that in Photoshop. All right, so over here for method, I'm going to use halftone screen. But if you go into the drop down menu, you'll see you have a couple different ways you could use this bitmap. Now, if you want to see how these guys work, just let me know in the comments and I'll make some videos on those. But I'm going to stick to the halftone screen for now and then click OK. All right, here's our halftone screen window. All right, at the top, I'm going to change the frequency to 53. I think that's what they start you off as the default. Same goes for angle. Uh, I'm going to leave it to 45. And your default settings for shape would normally be diamond. All right, so let's see what these default settings get us. I'll click OK. And that looks great. You might not even notice a difference just yet. If I zoom in on this, though, you'll start seeing the dots that make up our image. And this looks really cool. I think this will work out great for some kind of paper print or poster print. I think it'll work out fine. But I actually want a more dramatic halftone effect. So I'm going to undo this by hitting Command Z. And let's just do it over again. Over here at the top, go to Image, Mode, and then choose Bitmap. All right. This looks good. I'll put at 300. That's fine. I'll click OK. Now for halftone screen, the frequency is set to 53 by default. But if I back off to, let's say, 10, I'm going to get larger dots. Now the angle, angle is going to be the direction of your dots. So if you set the angle to 0, your dots will be going straight up and down or horizontally. Now, I like to have a little bit of an angle to mine, so I'll typically use an angle of 30 degrees or 45 degrees. All right, now for shape, instead of diamond, I want to go with round. That's going to be your classic halftone look. I'll click OK. Photoshop takes care of the rest, and now I have this awesome halftone, and I'm really happy with how this shirt came out here. And as I back off all the way, you see I got a good look all the way around. All right, so that's pretty much it. But now I want to show you guys a bonus tip. Big shout out to Carlos Garro. He's the one that showed me this entire workflow. Now, he also showed me that if I save this off as a TIFF, I could use Adobe Illustrator to play around with the color. All right, so I'm going to come over here, File, Save As. Now, the format, I'm going to go with TIFF instead of Photoshop. All right, now the TIFF options, I'm not going to make any changes in here. I'm going to click OK. Now let's jump over to Illustrator. I'm going to open up a new document, find the TIFF I just created, and open that one up. All right, so this is a pixel-based image in Adobe Illustrator. 
I'm going to select my artwork right here. All right, and then in the color panel, I'm going to just choose a different color for my fill. Let's go with red, maybe green, blue, and red again. All right, so every time I change the fill color, my pixel-based image is updated, and that's something I've never seen in Illustrator before. So thanks, Carlos. So give this a shot. Let me know what you think. This actually works with embedded images and linked images. So there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at how to create a bitmap halftone screen in Adobe Photoshop CC 2017.